Uh, my name is Belisa Barbachano Herrero, and I'm the heir of the Hacienda Chichen, and a very large portion of uh, the property, which is located within the archaeological section of Chichen Itza. Um, the reason it's there is because when the Spaniards came to Mexico to conquer the different civilizations, they realized that Chichen Itza, although it was abandoned, was an extremely important ceremonial site for the Maya people still. Therefore, when they conquered this region, they decided to place a mark. Um, it was important for them to conquer the Maya, not only economically and politically, but religiously. As uh, life goes and develops, 500 years of history, many families have owned the area. Uh, the family that owned the area prior to my family was Mr. Eric Thompson. A man that was very much intrigued by the Maya culture and who played a role within the discoveries and within the acknowledgement of this great civilization. And after he was here, the Carnegie Institute actually was the first expedition of scientific research of the Maya. And they settled in Chichen, and they used the Hacienda Chichen as their headquarters. And my grandfather was a very sharp businessman and understood that there was a possibility of doing something that was exciting rather than his original family's business. So he dropped that business and started tourism and started bringing people, which is not, inc it's incredible, it's not so great uh, to think that you will have to travel eight hours by train, then take a horse carrier for two hours to get to see the ruins. Then my aunt in the 60s decided the hotel was very small, needed more rooms, and therefore she took the decision to remodel the hacienda. Prior to that, it was still used for housing extra guests uh, at the Maya land. And when my grandmother died, I was told of this incredible life-changing issue for me, which was that I was the heir of the hacienda. And my husband and I just loved the idea of coming back to Mexico. And we basically changed all our life. Uh, I am an art historian and a sociologist. So I really care for the people far more than the hotel business. But I understood that the hotel was a great income to do all our dreams together. So in these past five years, my husband has dedicated himself to the restoration of the flora and the fauna. It's um, a wonderful opportunity. It's, uh, you know, great uh, serendipity. It's like I've been preparing for this my whole life. I've uh, always been a nature enthusiast. This is really a wonderful opportunity for me to uh, put into practice uh, many of the environmental things that I've been working with my entire life. We're doing uh, a lot of reforesting using native hardwood trees. Last Friday we planted 150 uh, hardwood trees in accordance with the phase of the moon and the beginning of the rainy season. I will say that the Hacienda Chichen is a sanctuary of life that happens to have a hotel inside. Uh, we have brought back the Mayan civilization alive into the property. They are still here, they're still alive, they still were able to manage to bring into their families some of this knowledge and some of this uh, pure essence of connectedness with the earth, which we really need so desperately nowadays and could save the future of this planet and especially the human race if we understand that we're part of the planet. One of the things we came up uh, was that we were going to play only nearby village people in all levels of our management as well. So we started first with people from Merida to help us train these people. 
and we proudly have now people that have come up and be professional, skillful in their sections, like our executive chef. Uh, we decided that we wanted to bring organic products that we will not longer just use market products because they have so much pesticides and there is very little quality control. And this helped also because most of my people that were elders did not want to leave the hacienda. I have people that have worked for over 40 years with us. They are the ones that are taking care of our fields. They are the farmers that take care of our various different vegetables and fruits. And the way that we work is with respect. I know nothing about the earth, but they know everything about the earth. So they pretty much tell me what they need and we provide it. And then we end up with incredible crops that um, serve the hotel and the rest goes to their families. And like that, we have other trainings like the spa. We created this incredible venture with Beatriz Correa. She has a study what a spa is all about. And we are blessed to know Doc, uh, Don Valerio. We're blessed to know his group. These are 13 elder men that come from all over Yucatan. And they have been able to keep in their families the, the traditional medicines and the traditional understanding of the cosmovision of the Maya spirituality and way of living. And they are trying desperately to bring back what is being lost which is identity. And this is the mission of Don Valerio and all these high Mayan priests. And since 1944, my grandfather wanted to donate the area that is called Old Chichen and Chichen, the parts that you actually go and visit with the temples of Chichen and the part that is not open to the public but is being restored by the Ina people. So I talked with Don Valerio and we came into a donation of the right to use the land. And instead of giving it to the government, it's been given that portion to the Mayan elders and to the Mayan priests and healers. And those are the people that the 20th of June did their final celebration and their uh, culmination of blessing and bringing back the sacred grounds Bueno, le con Pasco ve le le un cubo, un pasto de un tute lo, un tute la kim, un tute chiquino, un tute no lo, es moco. Y de la un más ya me lo kim aquí le vole. In kich que le un una puesto no si la can kim. In 
ang kaston to kich kelengkan hilu tu bakan syan tu no hilu tu cumuk kich kelengkan upok sik alkan It's great to have these men nowadays and it's great to see them working so hard to regain the right to be respected and to have all these different ceremonies that have meaning to their lives and utilize the natural way of healing. Uh, and the more I know them, the more I respect them and the more I am grateful to be working.